hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will discuss an important use case uh, customizing ribbon button or command button here you see i have the scenario is i have two entities one is customer entity which is contact entity and another is investment entity one customer might have multiple investments and investments are different types like fixed deposit recurring deposit right if you go to investments you can uh, understand that so let me go to investment to check what type of uh, investments are there here you can see these are the investment records and here is our customer association and there is the type recurring deposit and fixed deposit my intention is whenever someone open a customer record okay in that customer record i want to have a button here delete fds okay and what it will do when someone click this button it will show a confirmation box that um, are you sure you want to delete the fixed deposits which are related to this customer it will not delete recurring deposits it will only delete fixed deposits in the investments which are available for this related customer but it will take a confirmation from the from the user before taking action so that's what we are going to do so let us go and create that i have uh, taken a command button here and in the command button uh, in the visible formula visibility formula i have used uh, so on conditional uh, from formula what formula i have given only display this button if there are at least one fixed deposit investments available otherwise uh, hide the button so i have written in the visible property of this button i have written if count if count if will check a condition and get the uh, sorry count if will get the uh, count of uh, result set and do the action here we have given if count if investment customer contact customer is the lookup in the investment if customer dot contact equal to self dot selected dot item dot contact that means if the current contact is um, current contact is equal to the customer contact in the investment record and type equal to fixed deposit greater than zero means it will get the data first then check whether the count is greater than zero if it count is greater than zero visible false visible true otherwise visible false okay so this is the power fx next is in the action we have written a formula to actually delete the fixed deposits but before that i am taking a confirmation box it will ask that are you sure you want to delete all fixed deposits okay and uh, uh, the uh, message box confirmation message box title will be message or confirmation then once it is true that's why we have kept in if clause if it is true remove if again it will check if it is fixed deposit remove the records where matching contact is associated right so let us test this click on save and publish every time you configure a command button uh, you have to publish the command button and then you have to publish the model driven app so go to here and publish the model driven app and click on play now first i will check by navigating to investments that uh, whether sorry by navigating to the customer to check if the button is visible or not you see the button is not visible why this is not visible because for this customer there is no investment of type fixed deposit if you go to investments you see all are recurring deposit types that's why the delete fd button is not visible so this is working fine it's for the conditional visibility let me go to another customer with a fixed deposit let's say this greg jamie has a fixed deposit you see delete fd's button is displaying why 
because if you go to related investments you will see there is a fixed deposit so we have tested that how conditional visibility works fine using count if power fx next how the action will perform let us click this once you click it is asking me a confirmation box are you sure you want to delete if you press cancel it will not do anything if you click on delete and click on ok then it will delete all the fixed deposits associated with this customer and refresh the view you see it is deleted you understand how you can use power fx in the command button with multiple related entities to take action i hope it will help you in your business scenario in your project thank you guys bye